How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be testing another game here in the series where I'm testing PC games on the Nintendo Switch. Today's game request is Halo 1 or Halo Combat Evolved. And just to be upfront with y'all, the game doesn't run very well. First of all, you have this small screen here that it, I can't upscale on the screen because it just crashes. So again, it, it could be because I don't know how to set up PC games very well. But also, it takes a lot of resources. It does start off really well, which we're going to see. But during the beginning, I have a lot of lag. So I haven't played a lot. So maybe during an actual mission, it might be better. Maybe. But just letting you know. So even though it doesn't play so good, I am still showing it because I have said on my previous videos that I'm going to be showing whatever game request that y'all give me and if it's good or bad. But with that being said, let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so this is as good as it can get. I have tried so many ways to get this screen to be full screen or bigger and it's just not going to happen. But I thought it was going to run really well because look how awesome it's started. So. I tried. I tried to change the settings. But look at that. That looks great. I have no lag at all. This is really responsive. I did change the settings down to as low as possible. And, well, there we go. I tried changing the resolution, but this crashes the game. it other than that let's see how it goes campaign let's start a new game the pillar of autumn give her my mouse there we go i don't think it's gonna be able to be playable so i'm just gonna leave it like this this tube shows green cycle complete Like considering how slow Sorry it was going, I decided thought, to skip Chief. it. Things are a little hectic right now. The disorientation should pass quickly. Welcome, Welcome back, back, sir. We'll, we'll have, have you battle ready, ready stat. Chief, please look around the room. I need to get a calibration reading for your battle suit's diagnostics. Good. Thank you, sir. I'm bringing your health monitors online, sir. I am also using the mouse and keyboard. Vital signs look normal. No freezer burn. Okay, sir. Go ahead and climb out of the cryo tube. I gave you a double dose of the wake-up stim. Take a quick walk around the cryo bay and join me at the optical diagnostic station when you're ready. I know the ordnance techs usually take care of your targeting sensors, but we're short of time, Chief. Just look at each of the flashing panels to target them. When you lock on, it'll change color. Oh, if it's too dark, I want to try and brighten this. Okay, that looks good. Sir, I'm getting some calibration errors. I'm going to invert your looking pitch, so you can see if you like it better that way. Try targeting the flashing lights again. Is that better, or should I switch it back? Okay. okay, try Don't looking up and down, down again, again please. please. Do you want me to leave it like that or switch it again? Okay, I'll leave the pitch normal, but if you want, you can change it yourself later. I'm ready for the 
energy shield test now. Please follow me to the energy shield test station. Fire teams, report to defensive positions Alpha through Sierra. Sensors show inbound Covenant boarding craft. Stand by to repel border. Sir, I need you to look at me so we can begin. Okay, bring his energy shields online, please. All right, shields read as fully charged. Okay, sir, bring them down to test the automatic recharge. Recharging normally. We're showing green across the board. Bridge to Cryo 2. This is Captain Key. Send the Master Chief to the bridge immediately. Captain, we'll have to skip the weapons diagnostics and I... On the double, crewman. Aye, aye, sir. The skipper seems jumpy. We'd better get moving. We'll find you weapons later. Okay, I'll leave the self-diagnostics running at least. Good idea. You'd better get to your evac group, Sam. Oh, God. They're trying to get through the door. Security! Intruders in Cryo 2! No! Please don't! No! Sam! Sam! Come on, we've got to get the hell out of here. This way! Waiting for us, sir. Captain Keys. Good to see you, Master Chief. Things aren't going well. Cortana did her best, but we never really had a chance. A dozen Covenant Superior battleships against a single Halcyon class cruiser. With those odds, I'm content with three... Make that four kills. Sleep well? No thanks to your driving, yes. So you did miss me. Report! It must have been one of their boarding parties. I'd guess an antimatter charge. Ma'am! Fire control for the main cannon is offline! Captain, the cannon was my last offensive option. All right, then. I'm initiating cold protocol article two. We're abandoning the auto. That means you too, Cortana. While you do what? Go down with the ship? In a manner of speaking. The object we found, I'm gonna try and land the Autumn on it. With all due respect, sir, this war has enough dead heroes. I appreciate your concern, Cortana, but it's not up to me. The protocol is clear. Destruction or capture of a shipboard AI is absolutely unacceptable, and that means you're leaving ship. Lock in a selection of emergency landing zones, upload them to my neural lace, 
And then sort yourself for a heart transfer. Aye, aye, sir. Which is where you come in, Chief. Get Cortana off this ship. Keep her safe from the enemy. If they capture her, they'll learn everything. Force deployment, weapons research, Earth. I understand. The Autumn will continue evasive maneuvers until you initiate a landing sequence. Not that you'll listen, but I'd suggest letting my subroutines handle the final approach. Excellent work, Cortana. Thank you. Are you ready? Yank me. Good luck, Master Chief. Your architecture isn't much different from the Autumn's. Don't get any funny ideas. I don't keep it loaded, son. You'll have to find ammo as you go. Marines could use some help, Chief. Do what you do best. I lost him. Whoa! Where'd he go? to reload tab to switch weapons standing on a weapon is often air two weapon v to zoom Something just hit us! Move it! Back to the airlock! <laughs> there it is! I got you covered! Roger that! Hey, that was mine! You want your fire, amigo! our lifeboat airlocks to attach their boarding craft. We go out and they come in. Clever bastards. All clear over here. Reserve combat teams on the other side. Fall back to secondary defensive position.
Covenant on the landing above us. Combat teams, repel borders until ops personnel are away. Ops personnel, hit the lifeboat. Fall back to evac station. Good luck, you got The life pods are launching. We should hurry. Blast doors closing. The Covenant are destroying the life pods. They really don't want us on that ring. We have to use the ship's maintenance access ways. Follow the nav point, it will lead you to an opening. Nav points are temporary indicators that appear on your heads up this. Nav points in the direction. Or target again. I'm detecting Covenant movement outside the access ways. Activating motion tracker. Let's find a safe exit. We're too close. We need to find another route. Motion tracker shows all clear. Wait. We need to get through that door, but it's been damaged by an explosion. Analyzing. The door's control mechanism is offline, but it's taken a lot of damage. You should be able to bash it open with the butt of your weapon. Use F to melee enemy. Melee. Now they go. Combat teams, Alpha to November, pull out. <laughs>
It looks like the Covenant wanted to catch you napping. Damage to the superstructure is extensive. I don't know how much more abuse the autumn can take. There's one last lifeboat. Quickly, get aboard before it launches! Now would be a very good time to leave. Punch it. Ah, sir. We're disengaged, going for minimum safe distance. We're gonna make it, aren't we, sir? I don't want to die out here. Look. Lieutenant? Hell if I know, but we're landing on it. Yeah, she's been hit! I knew it. The autumn's accelerating. Keys is going in manual. Had fingers, they'd be crossed. Okay, so that's pretty much it.
the game definitely surprised me because it was a lot more playable than what I originally thought it was going to be. I mean, it is burning up my CPUs. I do have extra overclocking on and it is just going crazy. But for the most part, I mean, it's pretty responsive. It's working just fine. I wanted to continue, but I've been recording for 30 minutes and it is a small screen. So this is the the biggest drawback. I wish I could have done full screen for y'all. If anybody knows how to do that, then maybe I can revisit this if you're interested. But here is Halo 1. Let me know what you think. And if you have any more game requests for PC games, you can leave a comment down below on this video and I'll add them to the list and we'll see if I can play them or not. Other than that, thanks for watching and as always, I'll see you on the next one.